past turn. We need a hero. A wild heart would be insane to top deck. Any hero now. <gasps> Okay, I'm dropping a code in chat for you guys. So it's 5% off my entire eBay store. Um, so use it while you can, because I did a 10% off last week. Oh, sorry, uh, the start of this week. Uh, it was only live for like two or three days and everything just like sold out pretty much. I had like um, a, a case and a half of impermanences um, from the new structure deck and they went in like a day. So get stuff while you can, 5% um, off. So I might as well give back to the community. Um, we'll be doing more discounts, and if you do a multi order as well, you get a fat discount at the end. So, all right, guys, we're today playing through uh, Yu Gi Oh! Legacy The Duelist. It is an Xbox game, you can get it on Steam and PlayStation, etc. But I thought I'd go through it today because uh, it's a good, it's, it's good laugh, you know. You can do some like cool duelist challenges. Um, through like different eras, obviously we haven't played. We've played through like the original Two Monsters era, but as you can see, we've got zero percent progress on uh, everything but Vrains. I did lose of Vrains because I wanted to get like the old sky stuff and the uh, Trickstar stuff, but um, we haven't completed the Dual Monsters era. But we've done like loads, of, loads of the uh, storyline. But we'll, today our focus is: can we beat the GX story with zero losses? I'm gonna go straight from the start and try and do it with zero losses. Um, so as you know, the, the, the next King of Games is the first duel. You're playing as Jaden. You're facing Dr. Crowler, and it's Jaden's graduation match to get into Duelist Academy. Sick! I can't wait for this. It's gonna be sick. Yo, yes, Joe. What's happening, bro? Happy Saturday. Hope you're doing good. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get straight into it. Play some Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay, so I don't know if you guys know the GX story. So basically, uh, uh, Jaden bumps into Yugi at the start of the series and he gives him a... Karibo, Wing Karibo. <laughs> and uh, Jaden uses it throughout his entire, his entire story. His, it's like literally the, the entirety of his, uh, his saga. So he says good luck and then uh, Jaden rushes to do this academy. I'm not going to go through all the di dialogue. Basically Dr. Crowler hates Jaden because he's arrogant, he's always late. Um, but secretly like he's scared of Jaden because you know how good Jaden is. So Dr. Crowler, he uh, he's like he's like the antagonist to start off with but he does join like the good team as you'll see. So this is the first duel of the story. Um, oh, it's going to tell me how all the bloody tutorials. We'll skip all this stuff. Uh, but yeah, this is the opening hand. Okay. It's got Clayman, Bishin, Shrix. We've got Nopsy. We've got a Poly and a Fusion Recovery. So, first of all, I'm saying Clayman defense. Yeah, that makes sense. So let's go ahead and set Clayman. It's weird because it doesn't choose a zone view. That's why I don't really like this um, simulator because it doesn't choose like zone views. You just have to sort of uh, do it as it says but it's not too bad it teaches you like chains and stuff so it's, I, I always rate like these sort of simulators although it, it is official um it, it's not necessarily the best so he summons a ancient gear attacked in the clay man he took some damage from that i think the game's gonna tell us what to do which is quite annoying it's gonna, yeah so we'll get through the first one and then we'll we're like kind of like sandbox and we can do our own uh Decision trees, etc. <laughs> also, hope the audio is all okay. I had a few issues with it uh, this morning. I was going to do some uh, Oblivion, but I couldn't get the audio on my side, which was super annoying. I've got a channeling cable, but for some reason it didn't want to come through. Okay, I had a sneeze there, but I had to pause it. <laughs> Alright, Fusion Recovery, sick card for this era. If he wants to let us use it. Okay. Okay, 
now we have fusion recovery. So get, let's just get back uh, a fusion material as well as a polymerization. Quite a cool card. Shame that uh, it, it makes us do a tutorial for this because I would like to sandbox it. Um, but the rest of the campaign is indeed sandbox. So pass turn here. I think we top deck Avian from what I believe. Um, that's how the story goes. This isn't like a representation of the story, but uh, it's kind of sandbox as well. But how Dr. Crowder wins, he tributes to summon the ancient gear golem. And then we open uh, Sky Skyscraper and we open Flame Wing Man. So there's a Skyscraper, and I believe we activate the Skyscraper, then we use the Jar of Greed. And then this draws us Avian. And then we use Polymerization, get Fling Wingman. And then we attack the game, which is pretty nuts. Also as well guys, if you want to pick up some singles, I've got some juicy stuff at the moment on eBay. Got uh, loads of Tri Brigade kits from the Blazing Vortex set. Got a Prismatic Midora, which is pretty nice. Not sure if you guys have ever seen the Prismatic Rear. And then we've got the standard uh, Secret Rear Midora. But yeah, the Prismatic Rear and the Secret Rear is pretty nice. And then we've got a load of impermanences. Uh, I've got about six left because I didn't want to dig into some boxes, but I thought I'd open them. Uh, because we sold out pretty much like first first day, so. So we just did a restart this morning on our eBay. I've just dropped the code uh, for you in chat if you want 5% off. Um, I'm going to update the list on my YouTube as well because we're going to do this bit of a playthrough. Because uh, I want to complete the entire like, Yu Gi Oh! Um, stories straight through um, to GX all the way to Link Brains. Uh, I did start Link Brains, so I wanted like, the Altergeist cards and the Trickstar cards uh, to build a deck to play online on this. but. Um, yeah, so Jada wins, he OTKs through Flame Wingman, which is literally one punch man. And then, yeah, so Duelist Academy, the, the brightest players in, in, the, uh, in the whole world. Okay, so we got uh, Slife of Red, which is the bottom dawn. And then we got the raw yellow, which is like mid tier to above average dawn. And then we've got the obelisk blue players, which are the top tier players. So yeah, I'm not going to go through all the dialogue. I think most of you know like the story so far. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're based off um, the dorms, are based off the god cards. And for some reason, they've uh, they put Slifer as the lowest tier, and obelisk is the highest tier. So this is Chumley. He plays. Um, the koalas. So yeah, my aim for this uh, playthrough is to literally um, get no losses, but it is it can be quite tricky. Also, as well, you get these uh, duelist uh, dual points. So dual points can be earned to spend uh, points on packs, which you then build an actual deck that you can play through challenges and online. So quite a cool little system. A duel of love. So this is where we get introduced to Alexis. This is uh, Zane Trudel's sister, I think. No, it's not. She's she's not a sister. Zane Cyrus is Zane's brother. She's just like a, a, a side character. Uh, so we get to choose to use a user deck or story deck. We're going to play through all only story decks. Uh, before we start, I'm going to check the socials, make sure I post his stuff. Uh... Yep, cool. Alright, we go scissors. And we get to go first. Okay, so the game is sandbox from here, so we can do our own um, decision trees, get our own hands. 
so there is no fix to it, it's all down to us now. Not a bad hand. I'm going to go rotor straight away. Oh, you can you choose the zones, that's quite sick. I didn't realise you do that. Uh, can we view the play map? I think we can. No. I just wanted to read Fusion Gate, but uh, we'll get a clay map. Okay, Fusion Gate reads if you can, uh, you can basically fusion summon by banishing materials. I think that's quite useful. Um, I think the start. I think we'll set the clay man. I don't want to go Rampart Blaster straight away. set a hero signal to bait out some stuff and then we'll pass to him there. Of course Alexis does play the cyber deck. Not the cyber dragons or anything, it's just cyber cyber angels or cyber fairies. Okay, uh, I might have to use the fusion gate here. Okay, so we have to commit to our normal summon, which sucks. Oh, do we? Oh, you don't have a Rampart Blaster. I'm an idiot. Oh well. Ah, what an idiot. Ah, okay, so we could crash Bishinatrix and then trigger our hero signal. This will get us a spark man, which we can then fusion some with. Still in the battle phase of course, because trap cards are spell speed. Oh we take 200 hills with taking time. Oh god, that's quite good. Okay. Okay, I think we're past turn there. So yeah, it's gone for the effects um, to pop our Sparkman. However, we can summon the Thunder Giant next turn. Uh, I suppose that'll we'll play that just for some backup. But we can go Monster Street Born here. Do some damage this turn. We want to get rid of that uh, Cyber card. So we go for Sparkman. Yo guys, appreciate everyone tuning in. Hope you're all doing well. Okay, you'll summon a Thunder Giant here, which is quite a cool card. So the aim of the game is to complete this GX story with no losses, but it's going to be pretty pretty tough because we're using story decks. Uh, so... What's the potato star with card? Let's try this card, destroy it. Okay, cool. 
quite cool. I love having so many extra episodes. That's pretty funny. Oh, sick animation as well. Okay, we'll use the effect, discarding the mirror gate, uh, popping the defense position one. This one's quite annoying. And then we'll, we can normal summon the uh, heat. There you go, battle phase. Uh, we'll attack with the heat first. Nice, so in a good position here. Ah, oh, scapegoat. Walling up. Uh, yeah, we'll continue attack. Try and beat down these tokens. Lucky we're not playing goat format, right? Ah, what? Wow. So we get rid of the thunder right there. So we've got clay man, that's not too bad. I think we'll uh, attack into the uh, cyber gymnast for a thousand, and then we'll go move these two set. Ah, uh, past turn. Okay, end phase. And the fusion gate, what? Come on. Uh, we'll flip some of the uh, Clayman to get rid of these tokens and then hopefully we don't walk into a trap card here. I think that's probably the worst case scenario. No, we don't. So we're past turn. So far, it is a grindy game. Heat is putting in work so far. <laughs> so is the Gymnast, Cyber Gymnast. Okay, another past turn, which is good for us. Compulse, fantastic. Are we playing Oscar? No, we're not, so it's not that great. So we're just trying to beat him down. Um, go Clayman into the last token, and then we go Heat directly. Oh, what? Oh my god. Another freaking scapegoat. Alright, guys, gonna be a long game. <laughs> what is this goat format? Alright, we'll go move these two, set the compulse, and pass two. Oh my god! Proper goat format deck. Wow. 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 Wow, combo. Yikes. Uh. Normal super, normal super weak Cremo. And we go play around the crash because we uh, have this card to protect it. And we just beat down the tokens, leaving him with no cards in hand. And passed it. Alright, guys, in the driver's seat here. Polly, we have no targets, of course. He cleared the token to see what he has. Or she has. Hey, well that's not good. But that is good. I'm trying to get a spark when there's something here. Something too. What does this card do? I didn't see it. I think we'll get a spark mode right here. Uh, what does this card do? Uh, okay, that's fine. So we know something there. Spark man, let's attack over it. Gotta love GX era, right? Everyone has like goat cards and then his like the broken fusion cards, so. Uh, do we have Flea Wingman? I don't think we do. I don't think we do. Flea Wingman is insane. Like, I, I really want to get an ultimate rear. Um, I think I'll actually do that later. If anyone sees a good uh, good price for a Flea Wingman, let me know. 
drop it in chat or message me on uh, any socials because I really want one of those ultimate rare. This card's broken, like in in this sort of format. Okay, normal summon for Shadow Tricks. Your battle phase. Oh my god. Passed in. This deck's annoying. It's quite good actually. <laughs> this sort of format, it's quite good. The Cyber Angel stuff's not bad. Uh, oh, we do have Rumble Blaster. Past turn. A grind game, to say the least. Oh my god. What is this game? Uh, oh, that's, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Add back the heat. Oh, can we not add heat? I just realised. We just flip some of this. Fusion gate. <laughs> well, that'll do. That's a uh, certainly one line play. Go the extra one to zone because we can. Chin the giant. And then we use the effect. Just got a fusion gate. Pop in this one. Normal summon. Oh my god. What are all these bulky monsters doing in this deck? Magic Hall Golem. Sky Streamer, let's go! Effect, pop. That's game, right? No, not exactly. Oh, is it? No, we're like 400 life points off. Yikes. Man, Thunder Giant is quite sick. Thunder Giant is actually quite, quite good. Okay, that should be game. Uh, we'll attack with the uh, Kariba first, get some more damage in for some more uh, Duelist points, and then we go Bishop for the next game. GG Alexis. Fuck, that was a grind. Uh, so this is where they get the uh, JD gets caught in the camp, and then they have to duel. So we get Goat, we get Scapegoat, which is pretty nice. Take that. All right, the first next game is the first Shadow Duel of the GX era. Oh, I've got a fly next to me. Um, this is the start like the the dark side of GX so we're gonna take a quick break guys for like two minutes and I'll be back and then we'll play through the rest of the story. Oh shit I'm in the tangle. Alright we're back. I had, a, uh, I had a big blot nose not too sure why but I've got coffee here to like to know just <laughs> loosen this loosen the the nasal passage, I suppose. Ah, 
Right. Hope you're all doing well, guys. Appreciate everyone watching as well. Um, Going to be doing this for another couple of hours, so stay tuned. We also got some Duel Links planned as well, so it's going to be popping off. There's a discount code if you haven't seen it already. <sighs> right. Where were we? Um, look at all these games we have to play through. That's a lot of games. Uh, actually, fun fact, it doesn't stop at the actual end of GX. There was actually another season after this. Um, in my opinion, the most insanest Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, seasons and the best uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! series of all time. That is the uh, Rise of the Supreme King. If you know what I'm talking about, it is absolutely unreal. I don't want to do any spoilers because it is so good. All right. So, next door is a shadow door. So, this is where Alexis's brother gets uh, uh, he goes missing, and then it turns out he's being held hostage or something by one of the Shadow Duelists, so we're going to play the story deck with Pierce Jaden and get to, get to clap some cheeks. Uh, I'm also going to be playing some more Pokemon uh, in the week. I think hopefully on Monday I can play some uh, more Pokemon tournaments. So those are coming back and we've got some big stuff planned for you here as well. With the YCS announced which is December, which is absolutely crazy. So a whole Yu-Gi-Oh! Remote Duel YCS. Uh, they've announced officially that the regionals will be coming back after the Burst of Destiny set. But they will be Remote Duel regionals. So that's going to be happening over the next month or so. So some real big news for New Yu-Gi-Oh! And then, yeah, we can get back to the grind, regional grind. Okay, oh, this guy says the Archfiend deck, that's right. Okay, that kind of sucks. <laughs> Alright, let's check it extract first, we don't know what we're going to get given. Looks like it's just Thunder Giant and Wingman again, that's absolutely fine. So we want to go here... Polly get the oh wait what is gaining attack how the fuck is it gaining attack oh, it doesn't matter we can destroy it anyway right with this um, less than this card okay to the end phase okay so doing okay. I guess you're a sky creeper then. I, I've got a line of play. I've got a line of play. Go poly, get to the joint, activate sky creeper, and attack over this thing. Do some pretty crazy damage. Okay, chun the joint. Uh, I think this game's quite good actually. I, I do enjoy it. Um, it is. It does teach you like technicality and stuff, so I do enjoy it. But we'll also in the avian because let's attack over it. So sky Trooper, Let's just. So we're just going straight to battle phase. And then attack. Fuck. No, past two. Ah, uh, we're not in a good position here. We could actually get screwed. Ah! Uh, why do you need summon the Thunder Giant? That doesn't make sense at all. Oh, that's good. I 
last turn. And then they grind the game, it looks like. Oh, screw this card. Set that. Ah, I should have tacked over it with Spark Man. What are you doing? Wakey, wakey. Okay, we can do that next soon. Whew, that's not good. But we get two. Let me read this guy. Cool, no effects that stop us from attacking, so we can go spark minus attack over it. Skyscrapers is a very good card. Puts him in a position where he has to get rid of the spark man. It's only when we attack, right? Attacks, yeah, so we, we have to do the attack. Uh, but yeah, let's go get over big monsters and we get boosted tricks, which is lit. Litty. So we go spark phase, use spark man. Attack over. And then we go burst stream to attack, uh, attack directly. So yeah, I'm going to check the series on my YouTube channel. Uh, I think it'll be quite interesting to see how it does. I don't think it'll do amazing, but it's good. I'm, I'm enjoying it. And it's uh, good content as well. So. Especially for people at home that want a nostalgia kick. This is the official story for Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. So we get to play it in the sandbox. And against the decks that these players had. It's pretty crazy. Oh my god, we opened the Spark Blaster. It's not even that good, actually. Yeah, it's actually not like actually it actually sucks. Uh, but yeah, we get to do some more damage, I suppose, and we'll pass two in there. I mean, it's good if you want to attack over big monsters, put them in defense, but it's not actually that good. Okay. Oh wait, we can't actually. Oh yeah, we can. Oh. Huh. That actually sucks. Bro, what are you playing? Like three Fusion Gate, three Scar Trooper? This deck like, actually conflicts like mad. Sets. Is he gonna crash? No, he's not. Interesting. Um, what's the reincarnation? That's what we love to see. So we get to go. Uh, I think we get the avian back, right? And this is where Spark Blast actually comes in quite handy. So we use the Spark Blast. Uh, we use it to put the um, Death Rook into attack. Oh wait, he can flip a dice and negate it, right? Oof, lucky. So we go reincarnation, discarding the uh, Skyscraper, adding back the Avian. So this allows us to attack over that because we have Skyscraper and then we normal summon the Avian. And then we go battle phase and then that is not game, but pretty close. Let's go Avian into the Deseruk. 400 skyscraper is broken. Skyscraper is so good. Eris adding the okay. So he's on a life game now. So his monsters generically burn him every stun my face. So I think we should be winning this like in the next two turns. Okay, or not. <laughs> or you just what? Bruh. Yikes. Oh, what a draw. Thanks, game. Wow. I actually top deck a good card for, like, for once. I went to locals yesterday. I scrubbed out. It was pretty hard. I went 2 2. 
uh, play the virtual world, like normally a Dakar Mount, really good with at the moment. Um, just misplayed like crazy, but uh, that happens sometimes. You just misplay, you, uh, you know, other factors come in, I was really tired, but no excuses. But we did some trading and stuff yesterday, so I did make up for it. So this is a uh, sick door here. So this is uh, for the sake of Cyrus. This is the first episode uh, where uh, Jaden and uh, Zane, they duel each other. Because Cyrus is like feeling quite down, he doesn't think he deserves to be at the Duelist Academy, he doesn't think he's good enough. Um, so you basically, Zane's always saying that like, Cyrus should drop out. Um. So yeah, Cyrus is like thinking about dropping out of Duelist Academy, and then it's uh, Jaden's like, so Zane thinks he's saying, yeah, I know him, I know he's not good enough to play. Uh, so Jane, Jane is going to say, right, Zane, you're the best duelist at Duelist Academy. I'm going to show Cyrus uh, that, you know, you can stand up to like anyone and I'm going to duel you in front of Cyrus and I'm going to beat you basically. So Jaden and Zane, Zane is actually the best player in Duelist Academy. He's in the Obelisk Dawn, hence by his blue uh, jersey. He is literally like the one of the best players. If, but yeah, he is officially the best player to this academy. Jaden, he's first year, he's a freshman. In the lowest uh, tier of the academy, he's literally like offering out basically like the, the the best player. So yeah, yeah, like he's like a duel with a slifer. Sure, why not? After all, it's been a while since I went uh, slumming. So he's like, there, get your game on. <laughs> Sick. Let's go. I'm going to clap him. Zane has the infamous uh, Cyber, Cyber Dragon deck. He has like Cyber and Dragon. So yeah, it's going to be a good game. Uh, he goes first, so Zane goes first, we get to go second. So in this matchup, uh, it's actually important that we go first because otherwise if he goes, uh, Zane goes second, um, sorry, it's important that we go second because if Zane goes second, he turns his uh, Cyber Dragon on. Oh, we get to play Zane. Oh, crazy. So this is the first duel we get to play as Zane. That's nuts. Oh yeah, I know why. I know why. Because officially, uh, you you beat Jaden. Uh, the story is that you beat Jaden this duel. Um. I suppose we know some pass. I don't think we have any other options, I suppose. We need to wait for the Cyber Dragon. So if we look at our extra deck, we have Cyber Twin and Cyber End, so we just need to get some more Cyber Dragons in play. Sorry to blow my nose there. But uh, yeah, we just need to open more Cyber Dragons. Uh, we're not going to use the effect, we're just going to shoot the battle phase. I think he has a Clayman set, but we're, we're going to have to try and uh, bait it out anyway. No, an Avian, okay. Sick. And then we'll pass the turn. I don't think we can. Yeah, can't be. we need more Cyber Dragons in the graveyard to turn on the prayer plant. Oh, let's go over your core, which is insane. Um, yeah, with normal some core, I suppose. Get the effect then to add a Cyber Dragon uh, Spell Trap card. Add in another Repair Plant. Normally you add Overdrive here, but apparently the game doesn't want to give us Overdrive. Uh, which makes sense. We could potentially go for a... This is always treated as a Cyber Dragon, I believe. Lit. So we get to go. Uh, so we use the effect to reveal any uh, Cyber Dragon card or any spell card, and its name becomes Cyber Dragon. We then get to use uh, Polymerization. So we go Fuse the Sage, try and deck in, get a Poly at the deck, and then we can get to go Cyber Twin Dragon. 
I love playing old school. Like I just know the card pool. Like I think everyone should know the card pool if you're a uh, an old school player. But just seeing the lines of play, it's just sick. It's just super cool. Okay, side between dragon basically lets us attack twice. It is basically like it's just like a two-headed dragon, I suppose. That's cyber, so it makes sense. Its effect just makes sense. Um, can we activate prepare plant? We can. So if sorry. It's effect. Lit. Use the effect to add a. A light machine for my deck to hand. We'll add, uh, I think, another core. If that makes sense. What's the chain? Oh yeah, it's quick. Of course it is. It's quick play. So we're saying no. Uh, I, was, I was looking at them. Like, What's the chain? Oh yeah, defusion is a quick play. So the play with defusion is you attack uh, during the battle phase. Chain defusion. Uh, so in anime, I think you get Cyber End Dragon and then splits it down to three Cyber Dragons. It just blows anyone out. It's quite a sort, quite a cool play. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I think we want to add a. Do we add Cyber Dragon? I think we do. Yeah, we, we build the hand here. I think we can, we can play. Uh, it's Cyber Repair Plan once per turn. It is once per turn, so we cannot build our hand full of the Sub Dragons. However. We get to make a double attack here. I think we should be able to get Cyber End Dragon out in a couple of turns. Um, no, we're not going to use the effect of the defusion, but we get to make a second attack, which is pretty good. This card's good in this format. So I would like to make like a GX uh, era Dex. I think that'd be quite fun. I do have Retro, but not. It's a bit too old for GX era. But I mean, I say it's old, like it's only like two years difference. Uh, okay, looking good. Add another Cyber Dragon to hand. And that should be game because we can add the Cyber Dragon. Normal summon the Z. Or Zui, use the effect to turn it into a Cyber Dragon by revealing a Spell of Trap card. It's just a spell card, right? And then we get two go for Polymerization and get out Cyber End Dragon. And then we, we add the Defusion to split the Cyber Dragon if needed. Um, so just go one, two, three, Cyber End Dragon. Does Pierce in. Pretty sick. I think there's going to be a cool animation as well. I hope there is. Summon him here. Oh my god, they don't do an anima animation for Cyber and Dragon, but they do for Thunder Giant. Makes sense. Anyway, that's game. GG. Not even going to use Defusion. Uh, and that's another win. Looking good, guys. So Zane beats Jaden. He absolutely smacks him. Um, and then he says, yeah, I think Sorry's made a good choice of friends. And then Sorry's is like, Yeah, I think I'm going to stay in Doodles Academy and play it out, you know. So we get, oh, nice. We get a load of cards here and loads of points. We'll do a big pack opening at the end, guys. Oh, this is one of my favorites. So. Chaz. Chaz Princeton is another top rate, top top duelist in Dudas Academy. He is renowned for being like a like a, a bit of a like a, ch a chad, I suppose. Like he is just uh, but he's quite arrogant. Uh, he literally has no respect for like anyone that's not in Obelisk. Um, but yeah, these two um, uh, Bastion. He has a uh, a graduation duel with Chaz, I believe, or a promotion duel to get him into. Obelisk. Um, so, yeah, so someone tossed uh, Bastion's deck into the water and it turns out Chaz did it. And uh, yeah, so Bastion's like, it doesn't matter because I have more decks. So, bit of like background for this duel. So, Chaz obviously stole his deck 
chucked in the water thinking that's his only deck and it turns out Bastion has loads of other decks. So Bastion's like a proper site, he's like a top of the class um, duelist, he's like, he just excels in like every way. And um, Chaz is obviously threatened by that, he knows he's a better duelist than him so he, he takes an unfair advantage. But it turns out Bastion was prepared and he builds a second deck which is the uh, the carbon carbon deck with Hydro Getton and Oxy Getton. We also have Carb Carbonet in there. So we're going to go for a Fossil Dig. We have actually opened the nuts here. Double Fossil Dig. So we go Fossil Dig. Um, I think we, we get the Hydro Getton here because it can replace itself. Just reading the carbon effects there. Oh, yeah, foolish barrel. <laughs> Send the carbon in because this effect is actually quite nuts. Um, so uh, send the carbon in. Then we use the effect and banish it. Special summon a. Oh, can we not do that? Does it have to be? Oh, do we not have one? That'd be quite stupid if the game doesn't give us one. That sucks. But we just go for stick here, try and deck it in a bit more. Add in in the oxy get on because we can do a polymerization play. I think it's called the H two O formula. Uh, we get to uh, special summon a water dragon from your deck. So, well, normal summon the Hydro Get and pass because water dragon is pretty cool. And I believe you need the Oxy Get on and the Hydro Get on H2O and uh, the. Is the H2O an oxygen, I suppose? Okay, so we tax over the Hydro Get on, but then you get to use the effect. Or we don't get the use effect. Weird how the game doesn't give us the effect. I'm too sure why. Right. Okay. Oh, just got oh see, we should have done that originally. But yeah, we use this effect of Tutorian adding the bonded H2O, that's the one. So this is the one that gives us a uh, tribute. These two is pressed on the water dragon from the deck. Uh, I think we crash these. Good battle phase. And then both players take 800 I believe. That doesn't make sense. I don't know why the game's not triggering that effect. Like, it literally doesn't make sense. But, uh, yeah, we'll pass to in here. Okay. Go Fossil Dig, see what else we have in deck. As in the oxy get on. Normal summon and attack over that. And then we have some at least some advantage then. Uh, depending on the trap cards, Jethonium Blast. Ah, this has the Jethonium End Dragon. Never remember. Passed it in there. So yeah, quite an awkward game. Uh, we does have a lot of card advantage. We'll see if we can uh, grind it out, I suppose. So we're down on life points with two back row and a monster. Open a hydro get on. Okay, not too bad. 
Uh, we'll set the Hydro Game because I hope the effect triggers the time to special summon another one. That'd be great. The aim of the game for this deck is to get our, the Water Dragon online. Ah, oh, OG Ultimate Baseball Kid. Sick card. Except when you're steering it down, it's got a 19 attack. Oh, Mods Reborn, that's absolutely clutch. Okay, I think we got a plan here. So it only has uh, 900 attack, 500 attack, okay. So we gain, okay, so it's gaining all that from this. So we normal summon the uh, Hyper Hammerhead. Then we're gonna plan to attack over that uh, when we use the Monster Reborn to get a beat staked. Uh, I think we get the Geoterion, yeah. Yeah, we get that. That makes sense. And then, uh, just got stuck. Oh, pff, no way, that's broken. Oh, is it and or? Just at all. Um, so that's fine. We get to do more damage. Okay, we've turned this game around. Pretty good. Pretty impressed. And then attack directly for 15. What does he have set? Pinpoint card, so. Okay, he's pressing the warrior. Oh, that's good. Not for us. So we're past here. Okay. He attacked into Hyper Hammerhead, but its effect is he can bounce a card, so. Puts him at it. Oh, pfft. open Crystal Charity. Insane. We want to open a Hydro Get here, if possible. No Hydro Get. Get rid of that and the Water Dragon. Yeah. Um, we use the MST. We just shotgun it, uh, trying to get some back room. Use the Geoterion, attack over his defense monster, is a fire trooper, then we attack directly with the high Oxygeton. It has another pinpoint card, okay, sure. Should have ever seen that one, so obviously he did set that this turn. Um, but not the end of the world, we do have a MST set, which we'll set in maybe these two, not in the battle phase. Set that far left, and then we pass turn. I hope you guys are all doing good as well. Thank you everyone for watching. Really do appreciate it. Um, oh my god, he's walked straight into a mirror force. Bam! What do we top deck? Hydro get on. Let's go. And we have the bond in H2O. Let's go. So we get to get a water dragon. So this card. Uh, uh, I mean, is that even? Yeah, I mean, it is good, but I don't think we want to summon it yet, to be fair. Because we can do way more damage without it. What a turnaround. Absolutely smashed it. Haven't lost a game so far, guys. On the path to max it out this game with zero deaths or losses. Uh, and then we just attack the game, right? We just do this. Deuteria, the Bushfire Knight. Oh. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I thought we had the trigger effect then, but that's absolutely fine. 
type of game and then that puts us into the next uh, saga. So we unlock the Chaz Princeton booster pack. So this is the start of the Doomsday. So basically, uh, it's all the vampire, um, the uh, what's it called, the Dark Riders. So we got uh, the um, the Red Eyes do list. We have the Vampire Camula. We have the Amazoness woman, and we have that big big guy along with the. Uh, the guy that runs all the secret beasts, I can't remember his name. So we can actually replay these doors and like reverse them. So we can play, let's say for example, uh, the for Sigasaurus. We play the same because we have to beat uh, Jaden as part of the story, but you can actually reverse the slot and play as uh, Jaden to reverse that sort of storyline, but we're not going to do that. I think we might do it in a different video, but we're going to continue with the story. So Doomsday, so basically, um, Chancellor Shepard gets the best uh, duelist from the uh, academy and puts a, puts a, uh, a team together to protect Duelist Academy. So their job is to defeat the Shadow Riders. They all, all these Duelists get one key each, and then if they lose, they lose their key. The aim of the game is the Shadow Riders to get all these keys. However, they must be earned through duels, so they can't like steal them or anything. Um, so these are the keys. They uh, have to. Uh, so the Shadow Riders have to win them by dueling. The, uh, the protector. So the protectors, Chanta Shepherd chooses the best uh, five duelists from the academy to become the protectors. Jaden, Bastian, Alexis, Zane, and Dr. Crowley. Did I see Chaz? I think I said Chaz. Okay, so, so this is Night Shroud. So he has a Red Eyes deck. Um, sort of Red Eyes GX era deck. So obviously not the OG. Uh, red eyes. He did. I think he has an OG red eyes, but he has like red eyes, uh, darkness dragon, and he. Uh, there's a twist in the story which I'm not gonna uh, reveal on stream, but he does ha uh, have like a secret identity basically. So he uh, meets Jaden. I think he steals uh, Cyrus, Cyrus and Chumley. Okay, he puts him in the cage over lava basically. And he's like, if you don't duel me for that key of yours, I'm going to drop them into the lab and kill them. <laughs> but the aim of the game is uh, if you beat me, um, you get, like, you win. Like, I'll free your friends and I'll be on my way. But if I beat you, I get your key and your friends die. But, like, he, he's blackmailing him saying you have to duel me, otherwise I'll just kill your friends. So, yeah, pretty grim, pretty dark, but that's what we like. Okay, uh, we we'll go Paper Gang, and we lose. <laughs> Typical. What's he gonna do? Put us first. He puts us second. Okay. We're playing Jaden, so I think it's like Flame Wingman OTK here. That is the route of action. We got Blade Edge and Wild Heart, so I think Jaden's up the greatest deck at this point. Summons Art and Sim A Red Eyes. Okay. Mystic Tomato. That's a good card. Fusion Sage. So we're extra. We've got Wild Edge, the Giant Tempest. Okay. Uh, Bubble Ball Man and a Rampart Blaster. Well, and a Flame, of course. Te Element Hero Tempest is a insanely sick card. Like, it is the Avian, Spark Man, and Bubble Man. Sick card. Rampart Blaster is really good. And then I think just Flame Man is probably the OG. Uh, win condition so i think at this point we'll go for the fusion sage we're trying decked in get polys out of deck that is our win condition fusion summoning so we want to do that and then we can fusion summon here into the wild edge so get rid of the wild heart and the blade edge and then fusion summon straight away so not bad turn one fusion summon into wild edge so night shroud he does have a red eye start dragon uh we should Easily get through that though with these, uh, with this hand we've got here. So Wild Edge's effect is uh, this card. So basically, uh, it can attack every monster your opponent controls. So that's the, the only effect. But it, it is a good beat stick. Um, we have a normal summon diva, so I think we'll normal summon Avian. 
And I think Wild Hedge can attack over the Tomato when it triggers, I believe. Keep attacking over them. I believe that's how it works, but I guess we'll find out. So we do a 12. Oh, it doesn't trigger. Why is Poise that? Maybe he's opened all the Tomatoes. That's why it didn't trigger. I'm not too sure. But we attack uh, directly with Avian. And then we'll pass two. Wild Edge beatdown. you love to see it. I'm going to drop another code again in chat again, uh, guys. So if you do want to pick up some Yu-Gi-Oh cards, check out the eBay store and I'll give you guys 5% off if you use the code. Appreciate everyone for tuning in. Hope you're all having a good day. Currently playing some Legacy The Duelist, uh, an old school game. Actually, well, is it old school? It's kind of old school. Uh, but this is the Link Evolution uh, version. So it's like a, like a year old, two years old. I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, but it lets us play through the anime storyline, which is pretty cool. I thought I was going to sneeze then, so I thought I'd mute. <laughs> Alright, we'll take over this face down. It is a Mirage Dragon, interested, and attack directly for Avian. Avian, Wild, Edge, Beatdown. Pass two in there. Skyscraper is a good card because if he summons uh, anything that we can't get over, we can just use Skyscraper to attack over it. Okay, let's go. Fusion Summon. Oh, do we want a Fusion Summon? kind of have to right or do we yeah i think fusion summon uh the uh flaming man the best the good boy one punch man as i call it it is the og one punch man we've had many one punch mans uh, throughout the day in Yu -Gi -Oh! uh gwen maju uh the Vi violet chimera for salomon great but in my opinion this is the og one punch man Another Mirage Dragon. Oh, he's, this guy's bricks. That should be game next in. Oh, sorry, I keep you up to blow my nose on the stream. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Just had a funny five minutes. I've been fine all day, and then the nose started going. Oh, that's game. Let's go. What? Why do you need Chain Mr. Tomato uh, in the last one? That should be game anyway, you burning. But, nice. And that's game. The classic uh, Jaden line. Oh yeah, he collapses, that's right. And then this is when we find out that uh, Night Shroud is actually Alexis' uh, brother. So 1,100 uh, dual points, that's pretty good. How many points have we got? We should have quite... Yeah, 25,000. So we checked out the uh, card shop. So we've got Alexis, Bastion, and Chaz. I don't know what these those give us, but um, we're not we're, we're kind of going to save them, I suppose. I save our points. Like we can do multiplayer. There is like a is there a leaderboard system? Yeah, there is. You have no friends. Great. <laughs> Thanks, Gabe. Telling me I have no friends. You have no friends. But uh, yeah, this is the uh, leaderboard. I don't think we're going to play this. Um, it is quite cool that you can. Oh shit, have we just signed up for a rank match? Oh, just thinking about it. Have I even got Xbox Live? No, I haven't. Yeah, I have. I'm not sure why it popped up with that. Um, of course I've got Xbox Live. But yeah, you can you can do a ranked uh, battle match, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to have a single player campaign. But if you would like to see that, I'd be more than happy to put a deck together. I don't know, Ozgai, Trickstar, whatever you guys want to see, and I'll go on the... Uh, rank ladder it isn't like up-to-date meta because it's only the card pool in the game so i think the best decks are like i think there's some pendulum stuff that you can do uh appaloosa i believe is in the game and what else mech knights true draco 
yeah, there's quite a few good decks you can play. You can, there is Inspector Border as well. So we could probably put a deck together, like a stun deck, trap deck, and then see how we get on. Field of Screams, my favourite uh, Dark Sino Kamala. She's hot, she's scary, and she got a callback. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, we'll go for Paper Gang again. And we lose again. Right, no more Paper Gang. Okay, not a bad hand. Uh, Rota, for some reason, we've got three of them in our deck. That is a turn one Tempest. Do we want to go that route? I'm not sure if we do. I think we add Clayman regardless. I want to check out our fusion deck. Extra deck, sorry. Um, yeah, we could run Power Blaster. Crazy search power. Three rotors. Like, what the, f what the hell? That's broken. Uh, yeah, we'll just try and go Rumpar Blaster Pass and we can, uh, oh, we get Stratos? What? That is crazy. Stratos. This deck's broken. How did, we... there's no way we lose this with Stratos. Like... <laughs> uh, adding the Burst in the Tricks. And then we fusion summon into Rampart Blaster. Heroes for the win. I'm not a big hero fan. Well, I am. Like, I like heroes, but I like old. He Sorry, I'll, I'll repeat that. Um, so I rephrase that. I'm not a big modern day hero fan. The modern era decks. I just like the old school decks, like, you know. Rampart Blaster, the Elemental Heroes. I'll say that. All right, I'll, I'll rephrase again. I like. <laughs> I'll rephrase the third time. I'm not a big, like, modern day hero fan. I only like Elemental Heroes. Uh, and then we'll pass in here. See what she's got. Probably like a Dark Horse. I mean, I'll screw this over. Vampire Kingdom, sick. And a Bloodsucker. Okay, that works. Um, normal summon, avian, and then turn run part to attack and do 3k big fat 3k damage. Not too bad. And then we pass to it. Oh, Vampire Lady. Oof. Yikes. Ah, oh, we should have Skyscrapered, but I guess we'll pay the price next turn. Crap. Oh, what a draw. When the charity is graceful. Ooh, spicy. Ah, we should have got that, but it doesn't matter. Might have to get rid of the poly here, because we do have, like, fusion. 
recovery, etc. So Whiskers Skyscraper. Normal summon. So let's read this sec. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Mayfair 2, set Mirror Force. Pass a Rooney. And we are screwed if he gets rid of that Mirror Force. She gets rid of it. Okay. Vampire Baby. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, oh, that's why they gained. Huh. A lure of darkness, that's not nice. Uh, stop. Yeah. No. Pass. This is actually quite a tricky one. We don't really have like end damage, in, like non engine, um, like removal. We have like some trap cards, but like they're not even that good to be honest. Set, um, set avian. Pass turn. Oh, I guess the monster reborn. Kindly guess the call of the haunted. When the haunted is calling. Fuck. Yes. What a game. Pass in. Clayman control. All right, guys, not playing here. We're playing Clayman control. Uh, yeah. Let's go. No. Why did you do that? Surely you do that when you go to OTK, right? I guess we summon that again and then just uh, pass turn. No, another call the horses. No, but well, then that triggers, right? No, yeah, okay. Wild, wild heart, wild heart. Yeah, dark hole. <laughs> this game is nuts. This game is crazy. You can literally go either way. Pass turn. We need a hero. A wild heart would be insane to top deck. Any hero now. What am I like? Top deck in crazy cards. Surely we don't lose this from here. Nuts. Let's go Wild Hedge, and then we go Battle Phase, and then Attack for 26, and then puts them on a timer for 1 2. Yeah, 1 2, one two in timer. So they have to out this in the turn basically otherwise they lose as their life points is low enough for another not low enough to take an attack. So they have an answer with a set card, but if we have removal or another monster, we should be game, and that is absolutely 100 percent game because we have a Flaming Man? Do we have Flaming Man? Do we not summon that? Okay, but we have a blade edge which is piercing regardless, so that is game. GG Kamler. Camula, the vampire. Piercing. Yeah, correct, vampire baby. Tough game. Let's go! I'm still undefeated. I'm the fucking best! <laughs> like PV. Play.
bots like to be fair they are they coded well they actually they are coded like pretty well better than like Yu Gi Oh Nexus uh, bots. I played Sky Striker bot um, on Yu Gi Oh Nexus, and I activated Imperial Order. I just played through it, just played his whole hand. It was all spells. He negate his whole hand for like no reason. Okay, dual distractions. This is the Amazon S uh, Dark Soina. She has a deep crush on Jaden. Uh, she, I think, enslaves Bastion or something. Some crazy like that. So we have to try and uh, protect or save Bastion. But before we continue with the story, guys, we're going to take a short break and we'll be back in the next two, three minutes. So we'll catch you guys shortly. Okay, we're back. We are back. Uh, we're going to continue with the story. So how are we doing progress-wise? We're up to 11%. Uh, what do you guys think? I think we'll get to like 20% and then... Uh, potentially, 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 what idiot, <laughs> uh, we'll go and play some uh, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, I want to do the Grand Turbo uh, tournament where you play PvP and get those gems, so I kind of want to make, make this like a marathon stream, uh, so yeah, we'll continue, get to about 20% progress, and then crack on with some duel links, do some PvP. Uh, before we continue, I'll drop the code again in chat. If it's five percent off my eBay store, that is live for the foreseeable. So if you want uh, five percent off orders like impermanence, uh, we've got tribe gate kits that are really popular right now. Got some prismatic rares as well, as well as some secret rare doors. So yeah, loads of other cards. We just got a big bulk pile of uh, ultra rares. And the secret rays here um, that I've just listed. So loads of inventory, loads of stock. Oh, I need 400 listings um, on my eBay at the moment. So loads of choice, and we do a multi-order discount as well if you want to buy more than one card. Currently, and the cards in the 25 pence. One pound 25 pence. Um, if you buy five, you get 40% off. That's a fat 40% off, and if you use the five pound uh, five percent discount code, you get a further five percent off. So, yeah, fat discounts, guys. So, get cards while they're on there, otherwise, they'll be sold. I do get buyouts happen on my store often, so get them while you can. Okay, this is the uh, third Dark Signer. Uh, this is the one that I believe Steel Bastion or Chaz. And you have to basically defeat her to protect your key as well as uh, Bastion. I think it's Bastion anyway. So we go for the rock and we lose to paper, of course. I don't think it necessarily matters. We can like push um, through most boards with Flame Wing Man. And we're yet to lose, guys, which is insane. Let's go heroes, I suppose, because you, you, you do majority majority of this uh, campaign play as Jaden. So uh, yeah, it's pretty sick. Go rotor deck thin and get us a. We have a Stratos, so we could potentially add. Wild Hat? Yeah, I think we get the Wild Hat for back row. Attempt to normal some Stratos and get the effect to add a Bersina tricks to set ourselves off or, or we get Phoenix Chained, either or. Uh, so we'll go. Uh, we'll just set the Mirror Force and pass down. Oh, Hamza's Tiger. Tiger, Tiger, Mirror Force. Let's go, Mirror Force Control. Fusion Gate, that's nice. Take that. Uh, what do we want to do here? We want to. So only this card's an effect my trap cards, okay. 
don't feel like using Monster Reborn yet. We can't get our hand moved or anything, so we're good to go into a battle phase and hit with the Wild Heart. I'm a Zest Fighter, okay? Yes, we go Warrior Return Alive, get back the Wild Heart. Normal summon it again, because it's good to get run trap cards. So we could have another Phoenix Chain there. We don't want to play into another one of those because we could be stuck. So I think we just play Wild Heart Beatdown for the next uh, couple of turns and see how it gets us. Taking 15 off his life once each time feels like I'm playing Sky Striker. Chaotic, attack, ray, attack, chain ray. <laughs> I'm just an What does that do? Swap the attacks. Oh, nice. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> nice. 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 Let's go. What a top deck. Uh, I think we think about what's reborn in the Shroud here. Adding an Avian to hand, and then we can just combo off pretty hard. This triggers on push summon, giving us a avian. Avian equals flame wingman. Flame wingman equals lots of damage. So, yeah, we're, we're in a good spot. Nice. Let's go. Insane. Insane damage. It's so good at just piling on pressure. Do you know what, guys? I think I'm going to buy an ultimate rear flaming man. It's just sick. It's just a sick card. Like, let's be honest. It is a dope card. And yeah, just, uh, the artwork's insane as well. Uh, that is game that on its own. Uh, we're just going to swap this. That's good. I think we'll. Uh, can we attack with that? I don't think we can. I think the normal summon will block while uh, for more support. We go battle phase, use the wingman to tag over and burn. Doing a nice uh, 14 right there. And that is indeed game. Let's go guys. Still haven't lost yet. So we take out the third shadow rider. And we indeed get loads of Amaz Amazon S cards, which is pretty sick. Not sure if did that sick for Duel Links. Uh, is this the rematch? I think it is. Yeah, he is the last Dark Signer. He is the same guy, right? Yeah, same guy. A reason to win. Shadow Riders. Ah, that's cool. That's the one. He has his memories, right? Sick. All right, let's go. Let's go, Paper Guy. Yeah. Go first. We have access to the really good cyber cards. I think they're really good, like in this era. Um, we have see how we go on. So we have two two and skater two two. It's attack. Uh, just uh, let's go attack it. Okay, that's not that good. <laughs> But we do have like MST and also I guess we'll kind of set the skater and we'll pass turn there. Do we have access? To what fusion cards? Should have checked that first. Pandemonium, okay. Infernal Queen, Archfiend, and pass the turn, okay. I guess we want to read these cards. Um, it takes 500. Uh, yeah, it takes 500, I believe. Control card pays for life points. 
This is not optional. I'll, I'll discard. I need to play it. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, we should have changed MST to destroy this. Um, oh, God, yeah, we want to get rid of that, don't we? Uh, right, we have the Cyberblade, so. We need the Utol uh, Cyberblade to get that online. Which we don't have at the moment. We can tribute some of this, so 7 6 stars. Oh, that's nuts. Hell yeah, that card's sick. Man, these cyber cards are good. Boom. No. Oh, it's all face up. I thought it was all spell shop cards. Yeah. My bad. MST, get rid of the back road. Clear out any sneaky stuff you might have. That's battle scars. Uh, do we want to go over to life? Not yet. I think we just attack over this and pass. I'm speaking quite fast now because I just want to. I just, I just do that. Like, wh like when, I, when I'm streaming, I try and like commentate, uh, commentate what I'm doing. Sometimes, if I'm in the zone, I'll just speak fast. So I do apologise for that. If there is something you miss and you want me to do again or explain, just let me know in chat, and I'll do my best to, to explain. Okay, you've got battle phase, go two oh now nah, we go uh pre to attack. Oh Okay, not too bad. Um oh we probably could have used Warrior to add back the skater, but I think we'll wait for the uh Um do that for a follow-up. Okay, looking good. I think uh now might be the time, yeah. Get some more damage on board. Could be walking to a mirror force here, but I don't want to play around it because I am insane. Normal summon. Oop. Normal summon skater. That's a big load of damage there. So put someone on a two turn timer or one turn timer if this goes through. Oh. This counter blow just draw. Oh. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, yeah. I was going to say. So what's the turn? <gasps> Oops. Oopsie. That's not good. Don't escape over here. Open a Prima, which is absolutely insane. Like, that's game. Two for one. Like, tribute, destroy, everything. Oh, so, bro, I've, I've read this card. I've read this card incorrectly twice. <laughs> Shite. Passed in. That card's good. This format. Should have kept MSC for that. Uh, nope. Top deck MSC. Uh, now nah, we'll set that. Let's try and bait our opponent here. Let's try and set some stuff and uh, see what they throw at us. Ooh, Fiendra. Ooh, we should be something there. Summer Skull, the boy. That's not good. Uh, now nah, we'll wait, because we can always use uh, Gymnast to destroy it anyway. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Do we? No. Uh, yeah, we'll flip that. Use the effect then to discard, destroy. But we're not going to attack yet because I want to keep our game state uh, to our advantage with cards. So I'm just going to wait because we do do we do do the damage, but um, we get destroyed. So I don't want to risk. 
us uh, losing card advantage. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. Two two. But it gets destroyed. But we can uh, attack over that uh, Deskirk Archfiend with the Skater. So we we'll do that. I believe we do. I hope we do. Yeah, we do. And then we pass two in there. And then we just try and wait till we get like an MSD or some back removal or something that can out this trap card. That's really annoying right now. A graceful charity when the charity is graceful, guys. When the charity is graceful. One, two, three. Ooh, pot of cree. Jeez. Uh, that card doesn't really do much at the moment, so we get rid of that, and then we pot of greed because it's free. Jeez. One, two. Oh, for the viscous beast I food. Get wrecked, bro. Titan, bro. Get on my right level. No one can grace or charity pot of greed as well as me. Still not getting up. New opponent lives. Uh, we got battle phase and just put him on a one turn timer. Oh, we don't because this card gains 500 <laughs> in the damage step, attacking directly, and that's a game. No, let's go, guys. Okay. Okay, we're like 75% through the first season, uh, and then this is like season 2, See, so then we get to season 3, so we're like making good progress here. Okay, what do you think guys, I think I might leave it there for this game, however, I am going to switch over to dueling, so stay tuned guys.